Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2 on Roblox. So, um, I came to a sudden realization, a sudden epiphany, resolution, something, sudden, like, okay. So, I just released a book, all right, and I'm very proud of it, and you're gonna hear me talking about this for like in the next year. So, just sit back, relax, get used to the fact that I'm very proud of my book. So I went out online and I started looking at reviews and stuff like that and just seeing if anybody had reviewed it and I didn't see anybody. So I ended up going out to like Barnes and Noble, Target, Walmart, Google Play and all these different places and writing my own reviews for them. Of course I gave myself like five stars and like the best book ever. But I mean, it's the only book that I've ever written and I honestly never thought I would write a book. Like you could have asked me back in high school, middle school, Back in the Marine Corps, you could have been like, dude, are you going to write a book? I'd be like, no, why, why would I? I'm not a author. Why would I do that? Just <laughs> Anyhow, what ended up happening is like I was searching around and I came across something that just caught my eye and it was over on Facebook. So I thought I might want to just address this. Um, OK, I'm not going to be subtle about this. I'm going to blast this person totally, uh, maybe, if I can get the rest of this to comply. Can I close all those? Close those. There we go. Close that. There we go. All right. So I've gone into incognito mode, and I'm just going to show you real quick. There is a Facebook page over here that says Code Primate Store. It's got hosts. It's got things. If any of you guys want to donate to me, you can do so right here. This is not me. All right. This is this is not my page. Like th these are all my icons. These are the well, the, I guess the products aren't even on there. The products. Where is it? Where's store? It doesn't even have them on there. Anyhow. Um, Thomas, who? I don't even know who that is. Poor person, like it's gonna it's gonna force me to try and log in. I'm not I'm not logging in to click on this stuff. There's a there's a PayPal page here too. This is not me. I am I am not running a Facebook store, but apparently Joey Visor is, um, and that could be a fake name. I don't even know if Joey really exists. There's there's a ton of Joey Visors on Twitter. I tried finding some people, but I did um, send it off to um, PayPal for fraud. Yeah, because that is illegal. You can't do that. You can't claim to pull money for me under my name. I give a lot of rights to like my images and to my videos. In fact, every single one of my, like most of my videos all fall under Creative Commons, which means you can take the video, you can edit it, change it, blah, blah, blah. You can do whatever you want and you can repost it if you wanted to but you have to point it back to my channel. That's what Creative Commons is. Like here, here's my artwork, here's my stuff, but you have to accredit me for it. Like, hey, this I didn't make this, Code Primate made the original, or hey, this is a remix, Code Primate made the first. Whatever it is that you wanna do with it, it falls under Creative Commons, and that's just the way I am. Um, when it comes to my book, like whenever I wrote the book, I told you you're gonna get sick of me talking about my book. When it comes to my book, I would have given that away freely as a PDF, but I don't own the rights to that. That is that is to the uh, uh, Adams Media and to Simon and Schuster. And yes, I do get 10% of whatever they sell. So I mean, win-win. Um, capitalism, go, it pushes forward every day. That is not what this is. This is not capitalism. This is not um, patronism. This, this is wrong. And this is this is stealing. This is a criminal. Um, you, if you're the person that made this page, and you're thinking to myself, oh, "I can do whatever I want," no, you can't. And I've reported both pages. Um, I reported the first one for selling items under a false name, scams, and fraud. Uh, and I've reported the second one under basic fraudulism. Um, it's it's a federal law. So I mean, if you're in another country or something like that, I don't know how your laws work, but I'm pretty sure Facebook and PayPal are not going to be happy with it. <clears throat> so, just so you know, 
Things like this are illegal. It's illegal activity, it's fake, you're lying, you're a cheat, you're a scam, whatever you want to call it. And I just wanted to boldly put that out there. Like, I do not approve of anything like this, <clears throat> ever. So don't, don't click on the links, don't donate to things. Of course, now there's probably going to be somebody that goes and donates like a dollar and trolls me. Be like, ha ha! No, I'm just kidding. Um, there are legitimate sites out there that I do run. Hello Juniper is one of them. It's at the end of every single one of my video. If it's in the link down in my description in this video, and this video is by me, and it's not re-uploaded by somebody else, look for the little icon over there, Code Primate. It's gotta be actual Code Primate. Don't, don't do the non, like go to the actual channel to see if it's me. Okay, because this, this could be reloaded on somewhere else. In fact, this video might not even be on YouTube. Where am I right now? Am I on YouTube? I can't, I can't, I can't see past your browser. So you're, you're going to have to do that for me. Tell me if I'm on YouTube or not. So anyhow, I know that wasn't the point of uh, me going and recording my videos, but I did want to raise some awareness to you guys. Um, I had tweeted about it yesterday, but a lot of you guys don't have Twitter. And yeah, that's, that's that. So public service announcement at the beginning and now let's a play so I've I've actually tried to record that little section six times tonight and each time I've either got something I got to do inside uh, I got to go help my wife out with something um, I get tweets and messages <laughs> so anyhow what are we doing tonight tonight I am going to go and run to the store because I got 68,000 no 67,000 Mons. Hello. Hello, Reuben. So, you want to buy some land, eh? Yes, I do. <laughs> you already have some land. Did you want to expand your land? Yes, I want to expand my land. Let's see what I have. Oh, no, that's a nice piece of land right there for 3000 Do it. Um, I'm thinking about buying all of the outside ones real quick. Oh, talk, talk with Reuben. Yes, yeah, someone to expand. Please, please hurry. I wish there was no delay to it. It's it's way delayed. On delay. <laughs> Get it? Sorry. I was Spanish humor. Sorry. Um, you want to buy some land? Eh? Yes. Yes, I do. After I buy some land, I think I want to go and expand my my um, sawmills, my chop saws. And I want to make some like conveyors and stuff like that. Um, we're not going to be able to purchase a large, uh, what is it, chop saw, but I might be able to here in a little bit. Just depends on how much money I have after we're done here. If you'll notice, it increases by like 3000 each time. So each plot of land gets more and more expensive. You could probably calculate out how much it would cost for all the land together. Just the corners, please. Let's yep, purchase the corners. I'm gonna have a little bit bigger base this time. Well, I mean, standard, standard base. Max land would be supreme. By the way, yes, I have seen the exploit for max land. Crazy stuff, you guys. Some of these exploits that are coming out for lumber. <sighs> Stop ruining the game. I mean. It's, it's ruining the game for everyone else. You're probably having fun if you're using the exploits, which I don't recommend. Because you never know if that thing's got a, a virus in the background or if you know what the source code is. Yes, I went to expand my land, please. And it's just fair warning. That goes with anything on the internet. The internet is a very scary place, you guys. You don't have enough money. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough money. I am, I am terribly sorry, Reuben. I just... Would you accept my apologies, please? No, get out of my store. Fine. Oh, 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 I farted into his window. My bad. Just kidding. Don't ever fart into somebody's window. Driving through at the bank, trying to make a deposit. <laughs> Thank you for your deposit. <laughs> it's not what I meant. Oh, gosh. Family friendly. I'm going to get demonetized. Why did I get demonetized? Farting in bank windows. Um, wow. So, that, I really don't have enough money for much of anything, do I? Oh, wait, actually. Yeah, let's go. I gotta go get some, some lava wood. 
we're at 10 minutes already. Normally I have a 30 minute video. It, I might cut it short just because I, I had to restart so many times and it is super late, super late. So maybe I can do a run in five minutes of some lava wood, maybe. Who knows? We'll see how this goes. Um, it's about 10,000 per, um, per lava wood. And I've been in the server long enough that I should, should have a mature tree up there. A large lava wood tree. And here. This is, this is a good spot. Whee! Let's go ahead and take this out. Take them out! Sorry. Oh, by the way, I've been trying to record this so long, like, my coffee's already gone. It's... Dude, you just jumped into the, the truck. It's like, I want to be planked and sold. Jump in. Mm. I've had a lot of people tell me, like, I am the best at Lumber Tycoon 2. I want to make something perfectly clear. Just because I'm really good at something doesn't mean that there's not somebody that's coming in right behind me or somebody that's younger, or faster, better than I am. And I never want to claim, yeah, I am the best, because that's the moment I do that is going to blow up in my face and I'm, I'm going to feel bad about it. <clears throat> so, if you are good at Lumber Tycoon 2, you could be the next big YouTuber, just saying, as long as you record. You could do exactly what I do. In fact, you could probably do it better, because I don't edit. So, just, just to give you some words of encouragement. <coughs> Parents, if your children are under the age of 13 and they want to do YouTube, please don't discourage it. I mean, actually consider they could, they might be able to like pay their own way through college if you got them to start right now. But at the same time, um, under the age of 13, you need to control the account. You need to be in full charge of it. And I, I would say that all the way up until the age of 18, as far as like financials and stuff like that. Just make sure that the the child is responsible with money. Um, but that's not to say that everybody needs to control their children about YouTube accounts. You know? There are some kids out there that are extremely good with money. A lot better than I could be. And that's just because I don't like the financial stuffs. <laughs> I mean, I'm the guy that would want to give away his book for free. Then why? Something like, code, you could get rich off this stuff. I don't want to be rich. I, I, I don't want a huge, like, 100,000 subscribers is coming up. And I'm actually, I'm really intimidated by that. Like, I'm super excited, but that's 100,000 subscribers, guys. It's also a game changer because after that you get a plaque and you get a, like a little thing on your name on YouTube and I don't know if yeah, am I ready for that? Um, maybe. Oh, what? Let's <laughs> <laughs> go to step through the ground here for a second. You know, no problem. Um, what was I gonna do? I was going to chop this stuff up. Oh wait, 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 wait. Actually, here, let's just throw that. Oh, that made it all the way down. Nice. A nice. Off the back. Wee. Oh, come on. Seriously. That was not supposed to happen like that. Let me get, let me get out of here. Well, it's kind of useless to take a truck if you're just going to walk the thing, Code. Yeah, it's okay. Do, 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 do. And toss. Good toss. The other one's already down there, right? Okay. Toss. No. Try again. Toss. Wee. Down you go. Good job. Making great progress. I just wish it were just straight drop, and then we could just drop it down to our base. But it's not. Do, 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 do. 10,000 per tree, but you gotta spend 800 just to fix your truck code. Well, it was a bad run this time, that's all. I wouldn't even say it's a bad run, because I mean, I already have two lava trees, and it's been f 14 minutes. Of course, I used 10 minutes of that time to 
talk about the scans and stuff. So, come on, come on, get going. We're doing good. I'm not gonna restart this time, no matter what. So, uh, one of the times I actually had to restart because um, <clears throat> I let uh, a bad word slip. Ooh, I said it, I said it, I said a bad word. And it was on my channel for like a second. And I'm like, eh, nope. Well, it wasn't on the channel. It was, it was recorded to go on the channel. But it was during the, the whole scammer criminal stuff. I said something probably shouldn't have. Just use your imagination. Whatever fart poop duty word you can think of. Demonetized. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't want to give you ammunition to your vocabulary already. Uh, you know, family friendly channel code. Don't don't tell them what to use. Boom. By the way, is this interesting to you? Like, I mean, it's mostly it. It's a vlog, basically. It's a vlog of me and my daily life of lumber. But I mean, I talk about real world things and life that's happening. So I mean, a lot of people, like, you could see it with um, the drama channels. No offense to drama channels, but that where they like just play games and talk about other YouTubers and stuff and cause drama or talk about drama, whatever. And that's not everybody. Not everybody does the gameplay stuff, but I've noticed that that is a format. So is that what interests you about my channel? Because I mean, I do a lot of tutorials and stuff as well, but I've noticed like I've been doing just a lot of gameplay. Just a lot of lumber. And it seems to me that it might be following the whole, oh gosh. Huh? Excuse me. <laughs> it might be following the um, same format as one of the those channels that plays games in the background while talking to the camera. Uh, a lot of them don't have face reveals and stuff like that, and a lot of them edit their commentary, but just saying. I mean, I could do that. I could just turn off my face camera and then start talking about other things if we wanted to. It's a thought. <laughs> By the way, did you guys know I wrote a book? <laughs> Sorry. I'm still super excited. Um, I actually, the, the day that it, released and came out um i called over to our local barnes and noble and i was like yeah do you have the advanced roblox coding book uh, on your shelf and the nice lady's like hold on i'll go check and then put me on hold i was like oh wait no i did can you check the computer <laughs> so she comes back and she goes yeah we have a couple of copies here um did you want me to hold one for you and I, I felt really bad after that i'm like no i was just checking <laughs> I, I, it would have been tacky to be like, hey, I'm the author, ha <laughs> ha you know, but I will, uh, I will go to that store and take some selfies with my book on the shelf and stuff. <laughs> I also had another idea, because, because I believe in the whole, um, freedom of information thing, I, I was actually thinking about going to Barnes and Noble and purchasing all the books, all, all of my books that were on the shelf, and then signing them and then going back and putting them back on the shelf with a copy of the receipt showing that it was paid for. <laughs> just, you know, just to see what would happen. And then like sit there and film it. <laughs> I don't I don't know if it would happen or not, or if it would, I don't know. It was a thought. <laughs> Dieter Plays was like, hey, <laughs> Security would be coming around and be like, Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I'd be like, but I'm the author! <laughs> oh gosh. I thought, I also thought, like, what if I were to go to that store and, like, go to Barnes and Noble or go to Target, go to Walmart, wherever it's located? Uh, I can't physically go to Amazon. There's, there's not an Amazon brick and mortar store that I can, like, Hey, do you guys have any of my book? And no, it's it's all online stuff, like warehouses. But that that would be cool too. To physically have a Amazon store that you could walk into. 
and purchase things. Yeah, is a thought. Anyhow, um, what is going on with the lag tonight? Seriously, just seriously. Um, go in, and grab a copy of the book, and then just stand in the middle of the store and start screaming. I wrote this. It's mine. I did it. Everybody, come buy one. Anybody who buys one, I'll sign it. Oh, sign my face. So. Sorry, my ADHD gets a little carried away sometimes and something that started out as an innocent um, phone call to a lady to check on a book usually turns into like this huge elaborate scheme or idea of like, oh, I could I could totally do this for a video. <laughs> Which, by the way, the video ideas that I come up with, um, they usually like either fall through or they're half-baked and I, I don't go through with the amazing idea that I had but instead come and play like lumber or talk about the idea that I had in somewhere. And that's just, that's my mind. That's the way it works. Um, there was somebody that was asking me on Twitter, um, what advanced stuff do you have in your book? Cause I already know Lua. Um, and for anybody else that was curious about like, well, I don't want to buy the book cause I already know how to program in Lua. My book does, it teaches you Lua very quickly, Roblox Lua, but then it goes into like abstract concepts and ideas of how to make a game. It's not just um, like the skills that you could learn from those chapters on how to make a game, how a game works. You don't have to just apply them to Roblox. And anybody who's bought the book, I want you to understand like, I didn't really explain that like hey this is the Roblox process no this is the game making process and um, that was actually um, I, I learned those processes from college because I took game creation 101 or something like that and I mean that was that was at OTC by the way it was our technical community college um, in Springfield don't know why I said that but <clears throat> That's, a, well, that, that's where I picked up my degrees at. And I learned the process of making games. Not just, hey, sit down and make a game go. No, the, the backstories and the character development, the plot, the themes, stuff like that. And I talk about that inside the book. The other thing that I talk about are securities. How to secure your game, how to place certain things on. Of course, at the time of the writing of the book, filtering enabled was still not fully implemented as far, it was still like optional. And I think it's still optional now, but I mean, it comes on by default. So like, you can't make a game and publish it to the public without filtering enabled turned on. So, I go into a lot of remote functions, how to make those functions secure, Stuff like that. <clears throat> How to prevent certain exploits. So, for the person that asked the question, what's different about my book versus like going out to the webpage? I talk about those things. I talk about the different ideas, not just the. Okay, this is not gonna work, is it? Okay, come here. Move. This is a really big piece, by the way. B. Ooh. Oof. Does not plank. 10 out of 10 would plank again. B. Ah, oh, it, it did it. It did it. There it goes. Nicely done. Wow. That was, that's a big piece. That's amazing. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I had an idea about something. I'm not sure if this would work or not, but... Excuse me, my nose has got a little buggy in it. It's just wanting to dance. All right, hold on, stay, 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 stay. Okay, can we pull this right here? B, oh, that's not where I need it. Okay. Wait, where's? 
Oh no, I've lost my E. My E is gone. So, let's do a reset. I should get my interface back. Which will allow me to E once again. Okay. Okay. So, let's just set that right there. Move. Whoa, 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 whoa. And B. Ooh, that's weird. Hello, Pink Rider. Oh, maybe not. B. <laughs> it is not happy. And B. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, hold on. Can I do this? B. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> All right, come here. Come here. Oh gosh. It's like stuck now. No. Cuz it can it can still see the tree. Oh no. Wait, what is that stuff over there? What? Hold up. What is that? Did I fling that over there? I don't know if that's my... Yeah, that's gotta be one of my pieces. <clears throat> Maybe. Hmm. <gasps> Where's my Twitter axe? Where? Oh. You blended in right there. Silly goose. Okay, sorry. Um, back on track. I was trying, trying to do something where I could... That's the bird axe. Rookie axe. Go. Okay. I was trying to do something where I could um, take and toss an entire tree in, but you gotta have the, the blocker, the barrier, and you gotta have two of them so they get confused. I mean, I feel like there's enough lag right now that it's, it's kind of messed up. But that's just me. Oh gosh, hold on. Okay, it doesn't look like they, that's going to work, so it's just going to go off the closest one, which is going to be this one. We're at 27 minutes. I'm almost done. Let's do this. Last chop. Come on. Slap chop. <coughs> going to make America thin again, one slap at a time. Slap Chop. Vince from Slap Chop. What are you doing, Vince? The 90s, man. The 90s were awesome and amazing. Uh-oh, that's not good. Hold up. Did you really just go through there? Hold up. Um, <clears throat> move. Come on. Oh. Move down. Circle around. And B. Move. B. Okay, 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 fine. It's enough messing around code. Just plank them and get them done. <clears throat> Sorry, my ADHD. I like to blame it on my ADHD. That's just... <clears throat> That's just me getting distracted. I know the signs whenever... I am getting distracted, and what I can do to, like, correct the problem, but I think it annoys a lot of people that I am ADHD. Like, I don't have a problem with my ADHD. <clears throat> I think it's other people that seem to have a problem with my ADHD. Um, my wife has told me multiple times, like, I don't know how a lot of people do it. I've learned to live with it. Like my ADHD because it's simple things stuff that people do all the time like remembering to take out the trash literally I forget every day to take out the trash and it's not like out of routine of me to go and be like oh I need to get the trash but then once I do the trash it feels like well I need praise for this 
I did a good thing. I remembered to take out the trash. And it's a big deal. So, um, <clears throat> giving praise for a common mundane task is very important. Um, it also instills conditioning. Oh, my E is gone again, isn't it? No! Okay, reset. <clears throat> if you have a child with ADHD or sensory disorders or any anything on the spectrum, on the spectrum, I would highly recommend that you um, learn positive reinforcements and when to pick your battles because there's sometimes I, I can't talk logic to my son. It's just, it's not in his nature. He's like, I don't care. I'm not going to do that. And there's nothing in the world I can do to, to make it happen. It's just the way he is. <clears throat> so. <sighs> because we both have ADHD and I don't, I've never been diagnosed with a sensory disorder, but I would not put it past myself to have a sensory disorder, if that makes sense. But I would, uh, I would argue the fact. Anyhow, both me and him will butt heads because he is extremely like outspoken and opinionated uh, and he's extremely bright. He's, he is extremely bright. And son, if you're watching, don't get a big head about me giving you props, okay? No. <laughs> yeah. He's awesome. Daughter too. Both of them are extremely bright, extremely brilliant kids. And it's it's cool because like they're my kids. So I'm super excited to see what they grow into and like what they're going to become. Um, thinking about futures and stuff like that. It's still it gives me terrifying thoughts of my daughter's going to be driving in four years. Le less than four years. She's going to be behind the wheel of a car. Okay. So the only thing I can do is make sure that she's prepared to make good decisions. And she's just like I am. I mean, I am very kind, very thoughtful, and very trusting of random people. I mean, like... Until you've actually done something to wrong me, I trust you. And even after you've wronged me, I'm pretty forgiving. Not that the world should be like that, but that's the way I feel. And I think I do a good job of leading by example. I hope. <sighs> Anyhow. Welcome to Number Tycoon 2 Vlogs. <clears throat> I just, I feel like it's a vlog channel now. It's no longer tutorials, it's talking about the everyday life of the channel, of me, of my family. <laughs> Welcome back to the best Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2 vlogging channel in the world. My name is uh, Cody Prime, the number eight. Sub to PewDiePie. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, you know, the whole battle in between PewDiePie and T Series is still going on, and I, I see it being the battle of YouTube that went down in infamy of the 2018-19. I don't know. It's oh, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, we're moving. We're moving. If you do get stuck, just move the like one of the pieces of the wood in the back, and you'll be fine. It feels almost set up like a prank. Like it's gonna turn out that T Series is PewDiePie second account or something like that. You know, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being paranoid about it. Maybe it's just my own head. But it feels feels like that, doesn't? Doesn't it? I mean, I, I could be wrong. <clears throat> it's probably not. I mean, I'm just being paranoid. <laughs> but it would be funny. Just saying. Comes out later on and be like, Ha, I got all of you! And, and 
PewDiePie did an oopsie. I did an oopsie. <clears throat> of course, it, like, I'm supposed to be like pro America and stuff like that, and, and for some reason, I just I identify PewDiePie as like the American YouTuber. He's not. He he's not from America. I think he's from Bright Brighton. Is that right? He's from the UK, I think. I haven't been keeping up on him. <clears throat> Anyhow, we're, gonna, we're not going to talk about him because apparently he's not family friendly. And apparently people would be upset if they knew that I was talking about PewDiePie. But I mean, I don't see why not. I can talk about him. It's okay. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, just don't go out to the internet or anything because that's, you know, where he lives. And PewDiePie, if you're watching my channel, hey, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, buddy. <laughs> uh, get a shout out from PewDiePie. Two million subscribers in a day. What in the world? That's never going to happen. It's got to gotta be something extremely serious or extremely sad for him to notice me. <clears throat> Unless there was a whole bunch of <clears throat> 98,000 people saying, um, in. PewDiePie's comments to go subscribe to Code Primate. No, no, no. Stand down, army. Stand down. Ooh. <laughs> PewDiePie has blocked you from his content. No, PewDiePie, I'm sorry. Stop talking about PewDiePie, Code. Family friendly. You're going to get demonetized. <clears throat> sorry. Let's go get this stuff. We're just about done. Uh, for those of you that have been following along and staying with me this entire time, thank you for joining me on my ADHD adventures. Love you. I hope I hope you've enjoyed my uh, YouTube channel so far. Hopefully a bunch of years to come and a um, bunch of different changes to content and different things. I just see I see myself as like way too busy to be a full-time YouTuber person at the moment in time. At this particular point in time. Go, go, go! All of you out! That did not work. Not as planned anyway. There you go. Good job. Oh, there's some delay there. Well, let's get that, that big one in there. Let's go. Let's go, boys. We got so much muns. What did we start at? Like 3,000? What was left over after buying all that stuff? 3,000? Oh my goodness. All right, let's go waste our money. Some, some more land. Just kidding, it's not a waste. Max your land out. Hello, Reuben. So, you wanna buy some land, eh? Yeah, I do. You already have some land. Did you want to expand your land? Yes, I want to expand my land. 21 thousand dollars, and the next one's going to be twenty four thousand dollars. Do I want to do that? I'm no, I don't want to do that. Let's quit. He doesn't say anything. Wait, what? What did he say? What did he say? Excuse me, Reuben? What'd you say? Okay. That's it. Quit. So never mind. I didn't get to see what it says. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and read it. Oh my gosh. Why don't you want my land? Please, I want you to buy the land. Oh gosh. <sighs> Thank you, everyone, for watching this 39-minute episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end. And if you have a, if you have my book, go, go write a review on the book because, you know, I don't want to be the only person writing my own reviews. <laughs> Although I wouldn't care. It's fine. Um, like, subscribe, comment down below. Links in the description if I'm still on the YouTube page. Who knows, this this video could probably could have gotten copied by now, so I could be somewhere else. Or if I'm on your mobile phone. Okay, Google, start a timer for five minutes.
Oh, I have to unlock my phone. Never mind. Okay, five minutes. Starting now. <laughs> I love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we will talk to you very soon. <laughs> Outro.